Hey, Nish here, and today I thought I'd give you my take on the debate between e-readers and books. Specifically in this video, I'm going to talk about the pros of e-readers, in my opinion. Now, I did make a kind of rap video covering some of the points of this video, so if you're short of time and you fancy checking that out, then the link is somewhere here. But otherwise, let's get started. The first and most obvious pro of e-readers is that they're super slim and light. E-books do not take up physical space, so even if you have an entire library's worth of books stored on your device, it's still just as slim and light as when you bought it. Now this is a huge benefit if you happen to travel a lot because you don't want to cart around an entire wagon full of books behind you. But equally, if you move around a lot and you don't want to have several boxes full of books if you happen to read a lot of books, then it's really huge benefit, I think, the, the portability and slimness of these devices. My second reason ties into this, and that is comfort. Now, an e-reader is much lighter and slimmer than even an average kind of small book, and this means it's a lot more comfortable to hold for long periods of time. Equally, it opens up more options. Now, what I mean by this is you can use an e-reader with one hand fairly easily, whereas with a book, you know, to turn a page, you have to then use your other hand. Now, for instance, if you want to read while eating, for example, I do this sometimes, probably not the best habit, but I mean, what are you going to do? Um, with an e-reader, you can stick it on a stand like this. I got this cheap stand for a few pounds off eBay, and you can prop up prop up your reader on there and then tap away and change the page and you just, okay, you could read a normal book while eating, but it would be an absolute pain. Equally, you can also, you know, grab a grab a drink or something and, you know, sip away if you're on the beach lounging away. Before I move on, um, quick mention, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe. I'm really close to 1000 and yeah, I'd really appreciate your help getting to that goal. My third kind of lumped together category is some of the benefits you get from having books in a digital format. Now, first off, you've got the ability to set bookmarks and annotations. So let's say you're reading a book and there's some particular parts of it that you thought were very interesting and ah, I want to return to that. Well, you can annotate those parts of the book and then when you come back to that book later on, you can quickly access all the annotations you had and maybe pick up some of the key points that you thought were important the first time around. The other thing is that you've got search functions. So if it's a really long book and you're like, what was that bit where they mentioned the thing about cheese? I, yeah, I don't know. Insert, insert a normal thing to search for in a book. You can search an entire book in mere seconds, which is a really handy feature if you're just looking for a specific thing that was in the book and you couldn't quite remember. My next set of benefits, my next, my fourth reason is accessibility. Now in eBooks, you can customize both the font and the size of the text on there. And I think this makes it a lot more accessible to a wider audience because if, if you've got poor eyesight, then you can make the text a lot larger. And so you don't have to strain while you're reading it. Some print books have absurdly tiny text. And I think, you know, that could prevent some people from, from getting into reading and reading more books. Equally with the fonts, um, there's actually some fonts, for example, that are more appropriate for people who have dyslexia, that maybe helps them read. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's a good thing because I think it can get people reading who wouldn't necessarily want to usually read on, on print books. Last but not least is my half reason, and that is the environment. Now, why is it a half reason? Well, it kind of depends. It's, it's not quite as simple as don't read books because you can save trees, because the truth is that electronic devices like e-readers have quite significant carbon footprints due to a lot of the materials that go into them and the manufacturing processes. So there are quite a few uh, academic studies that try and investigate this area, like when can you break even with, with an e-reader versus buying print books? Now, there's obviously a lot of different studies. For example, one study from 2009 said that the carbon footprint of a typical e-reader is about 170 kilograms of carbon dioxide. And they estimated that reading 23 books over the lifetime of the device would balance that out. And so if you read more than that, then you'd be sort of net positive in terms of carbon. Now, there are other studies, for example, a 2015 literature review that looked at a lot of different studies, put that figure at around 40 books rather than 23. But then equally, there's another study from 2018 that says it's something like five books a year. And so I leave that as a half point because Okay, if you buy it and only read one book, then it's probably not good for the environment, unfortunately. But if you are, you know, reasonably avid reader and you get through a fair number of books, then I think there is, an, a, is a possibility there of making it a greener option compared to print books. But yes, there are a lot of used books, but there are still a lot of books being printed and new, even older books being printed new. So that is all of my reasons. Um, I've no doubt that you'll be itching away to write in the comments why I'm wrong and actually books are better. I am gonna cover the other side of this debate in, in another video coming up. So do subscribe and stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that.
Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful or interesting. Let me know any general feedback. I'll try and get back to making a few odd videos when I get a moment. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.